With the USB audio function, you can use the profiler as an audio interface in connection with a computer, Mac or PC. The profiler is connected to the computer via USB and there are several monitoring options. Studio monitors, the Kemper cabinets, headphones or even a PA or home entertainment system. To use the USB audio function, you first have to connect the profiler with a USB cable to your computer. To do this, use the Type-B USB connector on the profiler. The same cable is used for the communication between profiler and rig manager. And of course the rig manager can be used while recording. You have several options regarding the monitoring situation and which type of speakers you want to connect to the profiler. This is the most uncomplicated solution for recording with the profiler. Connect headphones to the headphone out on the profiler to hear both the profiler and the audio signals from the computer. You can connect the profiler to any kind of monitoring equipment. For example, active studio monitors, a small PA system or a home entertainment system. A stereo setup is preferable and for the connection with the monitor speakers you can use the main out connectors, jack or XLR. Cabinets with pure guitar speakers are not suitable because of their limited frequency range. You can also use an active Kemper power cabinet connected to the monitor output of the Kemper stage. If you want to work in stereo, connect two cabinets to the two monitor outputs. If you own a profiler head or rack, use the monitor out and direct out for this purpose. Then activate the monitor stereo option in the output menu on the output source page with soft button 3. Alternatively, you can also connect a passive Kemper cabinet to the speaker output of a powered head or rack and an active Kemper power cabinet to the direct out. In this case, the monitor stereo function should also be activated. The setup with two cabinets could also be used as a DJ system at a party. In order to hear the audio signals from the computer through the profiler and the headphones or monitoring boxes connected to it, you need to make a few more settings. On the computer, you should select Profiler as the audio output device in the computer's system settings. On the profiler, there is a separate page for the USB audio settings in the output menu. Press the output button and use the page buttons to navigate to the USB audio page. After switching on the profiler, amp recording and direct monitoring are already activated by default as you can see in the two dark rectangles at the top left and right of the display. If direct monitoring is activated, you will hear the profiler's signal just like you normally do, straight from the source and not via the computer. You can adjust the volume of the audio signal coming from the computer with the DAW volume parameter. Now you can play along to the computer audio signal using the sound from the profiler. To record the profiler's signal in your DAW via USB, you need to specify Profiler as the audio input device in the DAW's audio settings. If you have already selected Profiler as audio device in the system settings, this will be automatically applied to the DAW. To be on the safe side, you can check this in the audio settings of your DAW. In my studio, I use Logic Audio, but the basic principle of setting up the audio and input parameters is similar in any DAW. Next, select the appropriate inputs for the track you want to record on. The profiler head and rack output a stereo signal. 
In this case, two inputs are available in the DAW, input 1 and 2. The profiler stage supports two stereo audio streams. In this case, the mixer in Logic shows input 1 and 2 and input 3 and 4. In the USB audio menu of the profiler, you can determine which signals you want to send to the DAW. You can choose between the same output sources as there are in the output menu for the other outputs. You can also change these settings in the Rig Manager application in the Output section. Since you're sitting in front of the computer anyway, this might be the more convenient approach. With Master Stereo, the complete signal, including all effects, is present at the USB output. This would be the simplest option amp sound and effects, the complete signal chain of the profiler in stereo. If you only want to record the amp signal, because you might want to add effects from the DAW, you should choose Stack. Use this to send two signals to two separate tracks. You can record these signals in your DAW on two mono tracks. The DI track with the pure guitar signal without amp and effects can be recorded via input 1. The master signal in mono comes in on input 2. This gives you the possibility to record the amp sound with effects and the DI track in one take. You can then use the DI track later for reamping. Similarly, if you choose DI Stack, the stack signal is available on input 2 in addition to the pure guitar on input 1. With a profiler stage, you can, for example, record on two mono tracks and one stereo track in one take. To do this, I set the profiler stage to DI Stack as the 1 and 2 source and Delay Reverb Wet as the 3 and 4 source. On track 1 we'll hear the pure guitar signal, while on track 2 we'll hear the amp signal including stomp effects. The stereo effects of the Delay and Reverb modules will be recorded on tracks 3 and 4. Now I have the signals nicely separated and can decide in the DAW during the mix what the balance between amp sound and effects should be. If I want to, I can always use the DI track for reamping.
By default, the profiler is set to direct monitoring, which allows you to hear the profiler with no latency using the signal that you have set for the main out in the output menu on the output source page. The signal at the headphone output is set to master stereo. Here's a little tip. If direct monitoring is activated, you can hear your complete signal chain including effects if the main output source is set to master stereo. If you then select stack as the output source in the USB audio menu, then only the stack signal is recorded, but you still hear the beautiful sound with your feel-good reverb available for recording at the headphone output of the profiler. If you still want to hear certain effects from the DAW while recording with the profiler, you should deactivate direct monitoring. However, depending on the DAW's buffer setting, you will experience latency for the guitar signal, because the signal has to travel to the computer and back again before you hear it. The profiler works with a fixed sample rate of 44.1 kHz via USB. If you have a project in a DAW with a different sample rate, this is usually not a problem because many modern DAWs can handle different sample rates on the fly. Logic, for example, is capable of recording and playing back any sample rate, no matter what sample rate is set on the audio interface. You can also record other audio sources via the profiler. For example, a microphone or keyboards and synthesizers. These should be connected to return inputs 1 and 2 on the profiler stage, or to the return and alternate inputs on the profiler head and rack. In the profiler settings, in the USB audio menu, you have to select return inputs as output source for the corresponding channel. The signal at the return in is then sent directly to the DAW. It does not pass through the signal chain in the profiler. 